Hi, I am Jaydeep Mehta. I am going to show you in this session uh, how to create a content type and uh, how to attach a content type to a SharePoint list so that multiple content types can be used with a SharePoint list. To start with, I have a team site for training here. I am going to add a list to this site. It's going to be a custom list. So I select custom list app. I give it a name. Employee list. I'm going to create an employee list. To this employee list, I'm going to attach a new content type. So if you go to items now and when you click on the new items folder, you will see the default content type when you click the new item. Suppose you want to save a different type of a content type in this list. How do you do that? The first step is to go to list settings and then Go to advanced settings. Here you see content types. The description here says specify whether to allow the management of content types on the list. Each content type will appear on the new button and can have a unique set of columns, workflows and other behaviors. So here I'll go ahead and mark it as yes. And then I'm going to click it at OK. So here you will see the default content type listed. It's visible on the new button and this is the default content type. Now, to create a content type, you have to go to site settings. You will click site content types, create a content type, content type, select list content types, parent content type would be an item. and then click OK. Now to this content type, you're going to add site columns. An employee will have a first name Add another column, last name, and we'll add one more column that would be, or we can we can add it from existing site columns. So we see the combination of adding a new site column and adding from existing site columns here in a content type. Okay. I see an address. So I select address. Click OK. So this is a a new content type that consists of first name, last name and the address. What I do, I go back to the employee list and here go to the list, list settings, add 
add from existing site content types because we created a custom content type it's available here add click OK now your list is ready with the content type click on the employee list go to items click new so you see a new employee list content type created and available under the new item click on this content type and here you see the information that you will need to fill in and I put my name and a dummy address I click save why you don't see everything here that's because you will have to go to the all items view in the list list settings you will have to select your view all items view you will have to select the first name last name and the address but you will need to select in the order to display it correctly and then you click OK here you see the list with the new content type and the data created so this was the video about creating a new content type attaching the content type to the SharePoint list for that you will have to go to list settings advanced settings and allow multiple content types on this list so this way you enable multiple content type on that list I hope you have learned about creating content type and allowing multiple content types on a list. Thank you.